Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. We got a Pazak deck last time. Getting a Pazak lesson. Normally I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since Gerud was banned for hustling cards... I wonder if we'll come across this Gerud, Gerud later. Let's play. I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're playing a rookie. Lots of humiliation on the line. All right, so I'm probably not going to show a ton of Pazak. I don't know. But you got to get, get familiar with the heartache of Pazak. Ugh. This is what we call pretty brutal luck. Oh, the great game. Well, <laughs> yeah, skill and skill and luck. Practice before risking your credits against such a skilled player as myself. If you ever win again, boom, rematch, eat it. You were lucky to win the last match, but luck is no substitute for skill in Pazak. If you are, all right, well, let's find out. All right, I beat him again, we got 40 bucks, and then I realized, oh, hey, that's how the map screen works. Um, you know what? Who cares? I think something happens if you beat him a whole bunch. Um, I think most Pazak players, you can sort of pump them for all their cash. But, uh, eh, screw it, am I right? We found out about a party. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of that. Where are you? Invited to a party. North Upper City. Well, a good start would possibly be finding a way to go north. We can get some flavor text. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. You're patrolling. Eh, whatever. People still seem to be out and about quite nicely. Gurney! Gurney Halleck! See, I'm busy with my duties. Go talk to Zelka if you need something. Ah, you seem on the up and up. Beep boop beep. Ugh, oh, I could have written that line. Since you were an off-worlder. Still, you're welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terras. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. All right. What's the rat ghoul disease? The terrible affliction has plagued Terras for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the under Zombies. of Terrace's great prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless. Zombies. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. Like they yesterday, the military base, or two days ago. They refused to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. Eh, uh, someone writing a sequel will change their mind for you. It's okay, though. I don't see how anyone can get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. And yet... I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. Go kill Sith. Please, don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. Yeah, sorry. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, I don't know. What do you got for sale? Actually, I could use some healing. While I, I fought. Injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. All right. Hmm. No problem. Got it. 
What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. All right, hand tipped. You, you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless, unless you're a friend of the Republic. Yeah, sure. I, uh, I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. You might want a better lock. Overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. Unconscious and a tank of goop. Well, for that you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. All right, well, I'm not going to recommend you euthanize them, I guess. Thank you for keeping my secret. I only wish there was more I could do, but medical science has only come so far. <laughs> We've only reached the point of putting people in a bucket of goop. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Yeah, sure. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to... All right, what's your offer? Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the rack ghoul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. Like medicine. Make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Uh, he's going to become a pharmaceutical corporation, and then we'll see who's gouging people. All right. Only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer. If you find the Rackgold Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. I'm gonna go into business for myself, and then you'll both be laughing. And I'll make the cure super affordable, but only in half doses, so they have to keep coming back. We invent a treatment rather than a cure. Davik says you missed your last payment. This guy looks familiar somehow. Here, I I've got 50 credits. A down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. David can't. A have good song by Au Revoir Simone. But I don't have that much. How can I give all you or nothing. I don't have? You're gonna come with us to a private place to make an example. Help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! Yeah, they are. No, we're gonna get some experience points. You're in a public plaza. <laughs> Tava Kang doesn't like witnesses. Eh, he knows what the man likes. Eh. There, we got net light side points for that. I think you get dark side points for the other one, which is pretty goofy. Bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. And my ward may not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Well, I hope you turn that loan into an asset you can flip. <laughs> Time to lose those light side points. Uh... I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. Yeah. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be so light side. It's like, sorry man, fate of the galaxy, I can't afford to help you out for what is uh, the natural consequences of a bad decision on your part. I mean, I guess he's learned his lesson, but again, I'm not on a charity mission, I'm here to find Bastila. This is a more pragmatic get, Dave, not the goody-goody two-shoes who did still do contract assassinations from the last Let's Play. Actually, it's kind of interesting. So, one of the criticisms of the game, and of a lot of Star Wars games, is the binary moral system where you're either Santa Claus or Death Incarnate. I think the Sith Party might be around here. Anyway, it's interesting, because then the Sith kind of shot at Duros, 
And uh, that kind of happens. And then when I made this Let's Play last time, I made a comment about... Please don't hurt me. Now, one sec. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he, if he just gives me a little more time. A lot of people owe money. I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. You mean you're not here to kill me? But no, I killed his bounty hunters. You're one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? Hey, your stuff. Just looking around? Oh, okay. Go ahead, look around. Just don't tell Davik I'm here, okay? Yeah, sure, man. So again, that's a side quest we could do. Meh. Yeah, so the first time I did this Let's Play, I made a comment. Uh, I am from Canada, where we have a healthcare system that is somewhat universal. There's some there's some catches, of course, but... Uh, anyway, I had one person in the comment section back in the, the early days of the Affordable Care Hell, or healthcare, Affordable Care Act debate. Um, who was like, I can't watch the Let's Plays of a man who sports ext supports extremism like public health care. Which really confused me on a number of levels. Uh, the attitude around that's changed quite a bit, but it's interesting. Then the Sith are shooting people randomly and carding them, and it's like... Eh, I said I wouldn't get political, but it's just interesting what is political now. One was cartoon violence the first time, and now it's like kind of happens and then, then this one the hey, medical thing that most people are on board with now yeah i know the drinks are good that wine's got quite the kick got more bottles and we'll be passed out on the floor okay. bottoms up let's live a little come on drink up Well, that was easy. Well, we partied. Oh. Well, there's six dollars in the footlocker. What am I looking for? Here we go. Sith armor. See, that could help us. Could help us sneak around, as a matter of fact. Or, you know, people might just think we're Sith. Which, now that I think about it... Also, fun fact, Sith armor is better than a lot of Jedi robes. No problem. Got it. I'm just gonna do this. I am Sith. I'm a bad dude. Maybe this is like a departed sort of thing where... Um, all the Sith Troopers are actually, like, other Republic agents who are, uh, trying to sneak around. And all, like, the shooting people, you know, in the hallway from before. Maybe all that stuff is, uh, just them really sticking to their cover story. That's a depressing thought. All killing a name in a name we don't believe in. Right, hello, citizens. Yeah, drunk man. Ooh, hey, look at this. It's the Sith. Look. Oh, no, I'm so scared. Ooh. Careful. Don't do anything stupid. We don't have no trouble with this. Yeah, I found the weenie. Oh, yeah. You're right. Sorry about this, shitty. Come on, fellas, let's go. All right. Well, that was uneventful. I have no idea what happens if you. Oh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing going on over there. Greetings, my Sith friends. Rest assured, I have all the proper permits to be here, spreading my message. What's your message? Stay and listen if you wish. Greetings, my Sith. Feel free. All right. Oh, you Sith should shut this guy up. I think he's violently dangerous. You Sith should shut this guy up. All right. Well, let's see what he's all about. Time to get the old combat suit on. And fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Ghoulism. My name is Gotham Kolu. 
Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. Given the urban environment, uh, there could very seriously be a vermin problem. I am speaking of the hideous looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, for these are dark times. Again, this seems. Yeah, whatever. Kolu have formed the Anti Alien League. The time has come for Here's you. what ails you. Eh? Yeah? Eh? It works. Uh. <laughs> Uh, back off, you kook. Like all the rest. You will not see the truth on the day of reckoning. Come on, we should keep moving. Kook or no, people like him can... Yep. See you later, buddy. Well, oh, hopefully not. Alright, a droid shop. Yeah, I see that. You would think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. Oh. I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. <laughs> Some would say style is cyclical. Alright. Let's see what you've got. Alright, let's see the droid. Or T3M4, but he's not for sale. Alright, some droid armor. You can buy the other droid, but he breaks. And then you get a money back. Because, hey... Money back guarantee. He's doing okay. Beep beep boop. It's R2 D2. Cause you gotta have that. That's actually one thing I mean I, I don't mind it in Knights of the Old Republic, but one thing that kinda bugs me about a lot of sci-fi franchises especially. They get a little too self-referential. Well, why don't they just retake their planet then? Also, one thing that bugs me about uh, some sci-fi. Um, invading a planet? I mean, I get that a small military force can suppress a, a larger, a much larger group of people, but um, you really need a lot of people to invade a planet. We'll teach you who's strongest. Jeez, the old stabby one. Man, looks like the hidden becks just got their butts handed to them. Uh, uh, you know what, actually, this formation is really good for an explosion. Alright, it's no good for an explosion. Karth's a pretty good sharpshooter, though. There we go. Get our hands on some corpses. Hey, a Valker shock stick. I don't actually really like them. I'm pretty boring in that I like damage and not much else. Oh, uh, Volcar guards. Okay. Wait. They're not being hostile yet. Ready. We're gonna switch to old Karth. Down you go! Yep. You asked for this. No, don't do a critical strike. It lowers your defense. And you can't take any hits. I'd call the, the scoundrel a glass cannon, but that implies they're a cannon. Oh. 
Anyway, back to complaining about sci-fi. Like, there's, um... I'm not gonna do the beating up on The Force Awakens. Like, that's well documented for being pretty similar to other Star Wars films, let's just say. It's it's a new hope. Um, I sort of understand why they did that, because they needed a, a strong corrective action just to establish what Star Wars was going to be about. So, you know, whatever. That's just how things went down, and I'm okay with it for one movie. Don't ever do it again, but... Even, like, uh... Like, Star Trek... You know, it used to quote Shakespeare and Sherlock Holmes and stuff, and now it kind of quotes other Star Trek quoting Shakespeare and Sherlock Holmes. And uh, I don't like that difference. Actually, you know what? What? Karth, what are you good at? Do you have any repair skills? Total rank two. Oh, that's a start. Repair the droid. Uh... Let's just do that for now. Uh, I think he sure. will shoot, and we'll see if we can kite these enemies into range anyway. You gonna go attack them? There we go. Our droid friend's doing his thing. Karth's doing his bobbing and weaving. Anyway, if you spend some repair parts and put it on a patrol, it'll uh, mow down everyone and probably doesn't need like the upgrades. So, just so you know. Anyway, since I know it's a Star Wars Wii game, but since I mentioned uh, Star Trek as well, so like for the original movies, like the first ship and crew, um, the rule was the even ones are good, the odd ones are bad. You asked for this. So people liked 2 and 6 quite a bit, and 4 was pretty good as well. So 2 and 6 were directed by a guy named Nicholas Meyer, and he also helped write 4. Which is gonna get me to my larger point. Don't be loyal to franchises, be loyal to artists. You know why we're playing Knights of the Old Republic? I like Star Wars, but I also like good games, and this is a good game, most importantly. Uh, this could be trouble. All right. Um, utility items, I believe? Yeah, there we go. This one's for you, buddy. You asked for this. So... The guy with the energy shield is going to be maybe a handful for Karth that's blocking 20 damage from him. Alright, he mowed through it already, whatever. Anyway, if you think you're a Star Trek fan, just double check that you're not actually a Nicholas Meyer fan. Because A, you might find out about other things you like of his. And B... You know who to demand uh, is part of, uh, you know, new stuff that comes up. Alright. A good level up now. Uh, this is a bit of a tricky choice. Can't go wrong with Constitution. Uh, I'm going to go with Strength, though, because, I mean, it's every single attack we're going to make. Going for intelligence, uh, I really only recommend intelligence at the beginning of the game. Don't bother after that. Just set it as high as you want it to be at the start. Up to 14 anyway, because uh, you don't get retroactive skill points. Whereas if you level up your constitution, it doesn't matter when. Oh, I remember this puzzle. Just don't remember the solution. No problem. Didn't work. 
All right, it's impossible. Why do you show me, game? The Twisted Rancor Trio. All right. So we're gonna hit the old quick save, just in case. All right, it's a data pad. All right, a work in progress. Githos, Uxaros, okay, Alinda. Uja and UG. All right, so you just have to trigger these things in the order they arrive. Alinda, Uja. What happens if you do things in the wrong order? You die, Mr. Bond. All right, this is just telling the story of the band and how they formed, and how these people quit. Lupa... Photo? Ashana... Then what's this one? Lupa, Photo, Ashana. All right, let's go with it. And then Ashana. And you do things in that sequence and it unlocks the force field. You know, for security, to have all these things locked and you can't cheat your way around it. All right, anything with Ichani in its name you at least check out. That's pretty good, and it's upgradable. All right, 20 defense at this point in the game, we're laughing. Unless we get hit, we can't really recover from that. <laughs> no problem. Got it. Get bona. Got this is a private, hey, sorry. Yeah, this looks abandoned. I got some new armor. Hey, hey, charisma, everyone. Okay. Okay, the exchange. We probably should know about them. They're like... the Mafia. Okay. No witness protection program. I get it. This one, it seems like he's doing something good. Also, people on the run, we gotta stick together. Maybe you could fake your own death? I don't think that's gonna... either of these are plausible. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, and I could get money for doing the bounty. Alright. Find a permacrete detonator. Alright. See, we could collect money on this bounty now. And a good man could walk free. And we'd have a friend who also is on the run, so he won't rat on us. And, you know, helping a good person. A sonata for a good man, if you will. Well, that's a side quest I don't mind doing. Next time! Thanks for watching, everyone.